Okay, so this is the video segment for the third problem in the midterm. And uh, uh, since each of you may, might make these parts in a different way, I have already made the sum which uh, uh, more or less look like that and just bring it in. So if you want to do those parts, you have, you know, it's going to take you five, six minutes. Uh, so uh, we go insert, insert, uh, oh, let's start with the file, product file first. insert existing components in there and these are the things that I want the four parts okay good uh, let us anchor the the base and put this piece which is your horizontal bar as a prismatic bar or a prismatic joint on the base so coincidence between, let's see, uh, this back face and that face, and coincidence, it's updated, and coincidence, with this edge, no, not that, coincidence, in this edge and this edge to make a prismatic joint. There we are. Let me just uh, translate it the direction Y right there. The only restriction is that the distance from the center of the circle to this edge must be the same as the radius of that circle, 6. Okay? Uh, otherwise, uh, this will not work. All right. Coincidence being, uh, for example, uh, let's let's do it. This uh, uh, this hole, axis of that hole, and axis of that hole, and coincidence between this face and that face. Okay, update. Very good. Uh, now, uh, because of the fact that the distance from the center of this little circle all the way to the edge here is the same as the radius of that, that arc always stays tangent. To that, uh, uh, to, to that line. In other words, I really do not need a sur slider surface to do that. If you want, you can do it, but uh, it's, it's not going to do you any, uh, any harm or any, any good. Now, let's uh, do the other one. Coincidence between the axis of this and the axis of that. And coincidence between this face and that face. What do I do here? Let's try it again. Try it again. Coincidence between this face and that face. That's what I want. Update. Okay. And finally, Coincidence between that edge or that axis and this axis and update. Okay. Uh, well, let's uh, make this thing look a, lot, a little bit better. So let me rotate about uh, this axis. Uh, sorry, I forgot to check that box. So uh, check that box. Rotation about this axis, and let me there. Okay. Good. Once again, I want to point out that the distance from the center of the circle all the way to that edge must be the same as the radius of the circle. Just look at the geometry in the drawing. This is what you need to do. Okay, 
if that is the case, that arc at the bottom always stays tangent to this, and therefore this arc always slides on that. And even if you created a slight curve joint, it's not going to do you any harm or any good. So let's go to the digital mockup. Uh, get the magic wand out, new mechanism, auto create. We should have uh, revolut and prismatic joints. Yeah, okay. And this one's cylindrical because all it did was access to access. So for example, I can make this thing a uh, length driven. And uh, let's uh, check it out. Okay, immediate. There. We can change the range so that it, uh, you know, it goes in the, in, in the range that you want. But anyway, there is your mechanism. You can see that, okay? And that takes care of uh, the problem. Okay, let's stop this.